Hey guys, my name is Sam. Welcome back to Vinyl Tactics. In this video, let me show you what we have going on here. First, let me give you a quick walk around. This is a Dodge Challenger. Very rough shape. After spending another two days on the car trying to sand it down to a smooth surface, there was still like a lot of uh, spots left. So they bring back the car to me and I realize it, it's not even close to perfect, but they were just exhausted and they kind of gave up. So, and they're a very nice couple. So I felt really bad about this whole situation. The guys who did that paint job should have told them what to expect. Uh, in the future in case they decide to move the paint or go back to the original paint this was just a sad situation all around so this is what i like about vinyl wraps just in case you decide to go back to your original paint or the original look all you have to do is just peel it off i didn't want to tell the owners to take the car back again and try again to get all these spots like here 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 right there he got a lot of leftovers in the roof so they asked me to wrap over this but what i did not tell them is i will be doing some sanding of my own because this is all gonna show it's not gonna look good at all for so many reasons the wing was black we were gonna leave it as is black but because of all this scuffing scratching all over now i'm gonna have to add this to the wrapping job this will be wrapped black so they did a pretty good job on the sides but the roof trunk side mirrors door handles were not done the way it should be right there so i will be doing some sanding before i start laying down the vinyl and the owners are aware of that uh, the wrap job is not going to be 100% because of all the this residue and all the leftover bits and pieces everywhere. So they have a plan of coming back and adding like another layer of vinyl. Do some kind of design to hide like the defects and uh, obvious wrong spots. Uh, let me show you the vinyl we're going for. Metallic gold with a little bit of haze in it it gives a nice effect under the sun and i think it will look really good with the aftermarket rims so the owners were planning on changing this fuel cap but i'm gonna try to save this one to save him some money i didn't tell him that but uh, i just wanted to make sure i can uh, do it before i make any promises so if i can save this i guess they'll be happy about it
see these small leftovers here in the corners? I sanded all this down. Let me show you this side here. Especially in the crevices, corners. This will prevent the vinyl from sticking. Right here. So this all has to be sanded down. Very time consuming. All this has been sanded down. The gutters, both sides. Next I'm gonna have to sand down the whole roof. Go over the hood again. And this, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with the mirrors. I might recommend the owners to replace the mirror altogether. What? I don't know what I got myself into, but this has taken way longer than I expected. Uh, I'm just not good with wrapping the car as is because the surface is, is in a really bad shape. So I went over almost all the car except the doors and the roof. But I've been sanding my life away for almost a whole day now. And it got better but still far away from perfect. So bumper is in really bad shape. I still have to sand the inside of the fenders. Otherwise the vinyl is going to fail and peel back. We don't want that. Quarter panels are in good shape. Upper section of the bumper is okay now, but I still have to do the, the license plate surrounding area, this whole area. Spoke to the owner regarding the lower section there. You can see it's in the plastic is in a very, very rough shape. Even if we wrap it, I can guarantee you that the vinyl is gonna fail. So I recommended that to be sprayed in black, satin black or matte black to give it the look of, pla of plastic again. This way it will match the wheels, the wing up there, and the rest of the plastics on the car. I'm still waiting on, a, on an answer. <laughs> Doors, I'm gonna leave to last cause this is my problem right now. I'm trying to decide if this is worth spending the time on it or just recommend replacing it altogether. Cause this is gonna take a few hours for both sides just for sanding. So we'll see about that. All right, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so quick update for you guys. I just heard back from the owner of the car. We will be painting the rockers be uh, under the doors, both sides in black, and the lower part of the rear bumper right there. Another thing, we decided we're not gonna even try to salvage these because they're pretty much damaged. Uh, they're not worth the time, the effort, or the expense because the rubber pieces here are all pretty much gone. And let me show you here. We still have a lot of that old paint and it's very, very deep. So even if we're up to, the, to this edge here and I put some kind of trim, black trim here around to cover the edges, it's still not going to be deep enough. So you're still going to see the blue peeking out and we don't want that. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day just prepping the surface, finishing up the sanding process because this front bumper is going to take at least a couple of hours to get it close to ready. I still have to take off these old side mirrors. That means I have to remove the door panels and this is gonna take time because we, we wanna make sure we don't break any of these tabs here. We have two screws here. Unplug all the wiring from the inside and the side mirrors are not on the window like in most cars. They're like a part of the door itself. So there's gonna be three or four screws or bolts here from the inside. I have to figure out a way to reach in and get to those bolts to take these off. So yeah, a lot of work. Like I always say, laying down the vinyl is the fun part, but the prep work is what kills you and takes most of your time. So let me try to finish as much as I can today so we can get to the actual wrapping part. All right, so look at me. Look at the car. Do I really need to say anything? After almost half a day of sanding away my life, I think I'm good with the condition of the surface now. I can go ahead and uh, move on to the wrapping step. But first I have to give this a quick bath, then uh, the prep work. I'm gonna take extra time prepping the surface because of all the powder and the grime and there's no clear coat on this uh, car so it's gonna take some extra effort for the vinyl to stick to the surface so yeah this was not easy at all but I just didn't want to half-ass this job I wanted to get as close as possible to perfect 
I'm not gonna lie and tell you guys this is gonna come out perfect because obviously the car is in rough shape. Uh, I gave the car a quick wash and I don't think I'm gonna be laying down any vinyl today because I spent too many hours sanding down the car uh, but I want to be at least finished with the prep work so next I'm gonna be removing the side mirrors both doors because I still have some leftover paint here and it's gonna be way easier to get to it if this this thing is removed side mirrors are off I did a bit of cleaning as you can see now it's ready for vinyl let me show you the other side same thing here a little bit of cleaning came as close to the rubber as possible the plastic on this car is already damaged enough so right now this car is all messed up so tomorrow morning I start laying down the vinyl and make this car look good again I guess I'll see you guys in the morning